All Gas and Gators was a British sitcom that aired from 1966 to 71. The show was set in the fictional St. Ogg's Cathedral and followed the lives of the bishop, his chaplain, and the dean. The show was known for its witty and irreverent humor and for poking fun at the Church of England. Unfortunately, all of the main cast members from the show have passed away. Join us as Facts First presents How Each All Gas and Gators Cast Member Died. William Mervyn William Mervyn remained best known for his role as the Bishop of St. Ogg's until his death. Mervyn was born on January 3, 1912 in Kenya and grew up in England. He began his acting career in the 30s when he became a well-known stage actor before moving into television and film. He appeared in several films throughout the 50s, including The Story of Robin Hood and His Merry Men and The Adventures of Quentin Durward. But it was his role as the bumbling and forgetful bishop that made him a household name. Sadly, Mervyn passed away August 6, 1976, at age 64. He was on holiday in Norfolk, England, when he suffered a heart attack and died. One thing he'll always be remembered for is his impeccable comedic timing. One day, while shooting a scene for a play, he forgot his lines. The other actors tried to help him by feeding him his lines, but he couldn't seem to remember them. Finally, in frustration, one of the actors said, Come on, William, it's not rocket science. Without missing a beat, William Mervyn replied, No, it's not rocket science. It's much harder. It's acting. The whole cast burst out laughing, and the tension was broken. From then on, whenever someone forgot their lines, they would jokingly say, it's not rocket science, in honor of William's quick wit. Robertson Hare Robertson Hare played the Archdeacon. He was born November 17, 1891 in London. He was a well-known character actor who appeared in many films and TV shows throughout his career. He was best known for his comedic roles and his talent for playing bumbling, eccentric characters. He was a regular performer in the West End and a member of the famous Whitehall Farce Troupe. He also appeared in several films, including The Ghost Goes West and The Happiest Days of Your Life. He died January 25, 1979 at age 87. He had been suffering from a long illness and passed away in his home in London. But he's still remembered for his contributions to British comedy and theater, and his performances in All Gas and Gators continue to be enjoyed by audiences today. Like William Mervyn, there are some fun stories to remember Roberts and Hare by. One day he was on stage performing in a play when he suddenly forgot his lines. He tried to improvise, but he made things worse. Finally, he just stood there in silence looking panicked. The audience began to murmur, and some people even started to boo. Just when things couldn't get any worse, a man in the front row stood up and shouted, It's all right, Mr. Hare. We love you anyway. The crowd erupted in applause, and Robertson Hare was able to collect himself and continue with the play. From that day on, he always remembered that moment and the kindness of that stranger who helped him out of a tough spot. Derek Nimmo Derek Nimmo was an actor and comedian who played Reverend Mervyn Nutt in All Gas and Gators. Nimmo was born September 19, 1930, in Liverpool. He began his acting career in the 50s and appeared in numerous films and TV shows throughout his career. In addition to his role in All Gas and Gators, Nimmo was known for his appearances in the Carry On films and the TV series Oh Brother. Tragically, he died February 24, 1999, at age 68. He had been suffering from pancreatic cancer and passed away at his home in Chelsea. Fans and fellow actors alike mourned his death as he was remembered for his wit, charm, and talent as a performer. One great story to remember him by involved his time on Just a Minute, which was a radio panel game where contestants have to speak for one minute on a given topic without hesitation, repetition, or deviation. During one episode, Derek was given the topic of the Queen's knickers. He began speaking about how he had always been fascinated by the Queen's undergarments, but then he suddenly stopped mid-sentence and exclaimed, Oh, I can't go on. I've just remembered I once danced with the Queen. The entire panel and audience burst into laughter, and Derek continued to regale them with hilarious anecdotes about his dance with Her Majesty, completely forgetting about the original topic. John Barron John Barron was a recurring character on the show, playing the role of Bishop Cuthbert Heaver. He was a pompous and bumbling figure who provided much of the comedic relief on the show. Barron was born in 1920 in Ipswich, England, and began his acting career in the late 40s. He appeared in a number of classic British films, including The Dam Busters and A Night to Remember, before turning to television in the 60s. In addition to All Gas and Gators, Barron appeared in a number of other popular British TV shows, including Doctor Who, The Avengers, and Z Cars. Ernest Clark 
Ernest Clark was known for his role as the Bishop of St. Ogg's on the show. Born April 12, 1912, Clark had a long and successful career in stage, film, and television. He began his acting career in the 30s, appearing in various West End productions before making his film debut in 1936. He went on to star in several British films throughout the 40s and 50s, including The Next of Kin, The Saint Meets the Tiger, and The Lavender Hill Mob. In 1966, Clark landed the role of the befuddled Bishop of St. Ogg's in All Gas and Gators. Clark's character was known for his forgetfulness and absent-mindedness, which often led to humorous situations. Sadly, Ernest Clark passed away November 11, 1994, at age 82. The cause of his death wasn't made public, but it's believed he died of natural causes. He left behind a legacy of great performances, including his portrayal of the Bishop. Joan Sanderson. Finally, let's take a look at the first and only female cast member to show up on this list. Joan Sanderson played Sister Monica on the show. Sister Monica was a character who was always causing trouble and getting into mischief. She was known for her quick wit and sharp tongue. Joan Sanderson was born December 24, 1924 in England. She was known for her versatility and ability to play both dramatic and comedic roles with equal ease. Her career spanned over five decades, and she appeared in numerous TV, film, and stage productions. She began her career in the late 40s, appearing in various stage productions. Her big break came in 1954, when she was cast as the lead in the West End production of The Reluctant Debutante. This led to her being offered more roles in both the theater and on television. In 1957, Sanderson made her film debut in the comedy Blue Murder at St. Trinian's. She continued to appear in films throughout her career, including The Trials of Oscar Wilde, Please Turn Over, and The Amorous Prawn. Despite all of her work on film, it was on television that Sanderson became a household name. She appeared in numerous popular series like Hancock's Half Hour, The Benny Hill Show, The Foresight Saga, and Doctor Who. She was perhaps best known for her role as Miss Faversham in the hit sitcom The Good Life, which earned her a BAFTA nomination. Sadly, she passed away May 24, 1992 at age 67 after suffering from cancer. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that none of the main cast members from All Gas and Gators are still around? Who was your favorite character? Let us know in the comments section below.